Hey, how are you? Good, how are you, sir? All right. I just had a quick question for you. Do you know anything about this corner house over here that's all boarded up? No, no. Has it been like that for a while? Uh, maybe about a year ago. Has no one come by and cut the grass or anything? I don't know. I ain't never seen nobody. I was thinking about just cutting the lawn for free to kind of make it look better for the neighborhood. You want to do? You waste your time. You ain't getting no money out of it. Nothing better than that though, right? Yeah. Making the lawn look good. You want to volunteer? Go for it. Hey everyone, Spencer here with SB Mowing and I found this house and thought I would get a little bit more info by knocking on the neighbor's doors just to see what was going on with it. Mostly because it was completely boarded up and the grass was getting crazy overgrown and I knew I could make it look great again. So I went around knocking on all the neighbor's doors and really nobody had much information on it. They just knew that it's been like that for a really long time. There's some homeless people that go and live in there during the winter and start fires on the inside to stay warm. So they just know that it's kind of a fire hazard. They also said it's just the eyesore of the neighborhood because every Everyone else around here seems to take care of their lawn, but this lawn just grows crazy tall all the time and it never gets cut. So I thought I would mow it down, clean it up, and make it look amazing again, but I really, really want to find out what actually happened to this house. And while I didn't find any specific information, I found some pictures from about 15 to 20 years ago where the house just looked amazing and there was a family living in it and it looked like they really took care of the place. But for some reason, they moved out, either passed away, and nobody's taken over the home since and it just has gone downhill. And you want to be sure to stay to the very end of this video because the before and after pictures are amazing on this one and it looks like a completely different property and if you haven't done so yet be sure to go down below and click that subscribe button is it's really the best way to support this work that i do i really hope you all enjoyed this video and you have a great rest of your day a great rest of your week and don't get poison ivy sb mowing out
Hey everyone, Spencer here real quick. I've been mowing lawns for 14 years now and there's a lot I've learned about how to cut grass efficiently and effectively. There's a lot of factors that go into the perfect cut and I didn't realize that a lot of those same factors come into play when shaving my face. Luckily, Henson Shaving has perfected this seemingly simple task and solved a lot of problems that many people get from cheap store-bought razors. Because with mowing, everything from the deck design, blade sharpness, blade tip speed, and so much more go into achieving the perfect suction to pull the grass up into the deck and getting a clean cut. Tents and Shaving formed from a family-owned aerospace machine shop that pivoted to selling razors in 2020 when the pandemic forced them to. And with aerospace machining comes precision because Henson Shaving's AL13 razor is made using CNC machines to aerospace standards. That means that the product is made with very tight tolerances, making sure that the blade is securely held half the distance of a human hair out of the razor. Also, another benefit of this precision is that it allows the razor to hold the blade at an optimal 30 degree angle, which is exactly exactly the angle that most lawnmower blades are sharpened at to function at their best. Plus, the cherry on top is that the Henson AL13 is completely plastic free and should last most people a lifetime. The blades are only about 10 cents each, making the cost to own and operate a Henson AL13 way less than other razors. So if you're interested in upping your shaving game or getting it as a gift for a loved one, be sure to visit HensonShaving.com. With that being said, now that my neck and my cheeks are all cleaned up, let's get back to this overgrown lawn and get it finished.
Look how big these poison ivy leaves are. That is crazy. And these gloves are definitely getting thrown away after this.
I just want to give a quick shout out guys. The handle that I've been using in my shuffle is called the Reach Right Attachment. Um, it actually attaches to any straight shaft tool like a brake, pressure washer, shovel. No, I'm using my trimmer. It helps me stay a little bit upright, Reach Right. And yeah, it just makes my job a little bit easier. So let's get to trimming.
All right, everybody, we just got finished up here and check out how amazing this is looking. I did get done edging and mowing and there were still a ton of vines and stuff all over the house. A lot of it was poison ivy, but I've had a very minor consistent rash for the last couple weeks. So I thought I would just do it to make this one look better. And I don't think it can get, it can get much worse, can it? But we'll see, I'm gonna get home, I'm gonna get washed up. I'm gonna scrub myself down with some poison ivy scrub and some Dawn dish soap. And I've just been being really careful about it this year and just a lot more attentive to getting the oils off of my body as quick as I can. And it seems to help out a lot. Because if I just have a little bit of a rash here and there on my body, it really doesn't bother me too much. But it's once I really get into it and I don't wash it off that it just takes over my body and I have such a severe allergic reaction that my face starts swelling up and that's what I can't deal with. But I actually just spoke with the lady right across the street and her lawn's getting pretty crazy. She was telling me she's a lunch lady and so she's really busy making over 8,000 meals for all the elementary schools in the city. And she does that every day and on top of that, she's also got five kids and her lawn's getting pretty crazy over there and she's just got a push mower. She told me she was gonna do it this weekend but I told her I would do it for free. So stay tuned, I'm gonna come back and take care of hers for next week's video, but I really, really appreciate you all watching to the very end of this one. It's really the best way to support me and all the work that I do, but if you did want to support me just a little bit further, you can head over to sbmowing.com and grab an SB Mowing t-shirt, SB Mowing hat, or any of my awesome merch like the Lawn Enforcement Officer, I'm Sexy and I Mow It shirt, or anything else on there. But I just really hope you all enjoyed this video, and I hope you have a great rest of your day, a great rest of your week, and we'll see you next Friday. SB Mowing, out.